Hey guys, this is Doug from fellowshipofthemartyrs.com. Just a little website. Not trying to get you to be a member of anything or join anything. We're just trying to speak some truth. I want to make a video repenting to you. And I want you to know that I'm sorry. That the Lord has convicted me about something. And... Um, it was something that I did publicly, so it's something that I should repent for publicly. About a year ago, um, I was approached by a lady who said that she was a cult expert, that she had been involved in deprogramming or meeting with people to help get them out of cults in two or three, four continents, I don't recall. And uh, that completely unsolicited by me, she had seen the videos, her and her husband were retired, living in Canada, and I don't know what, I guess had time on their hands, but she wanted to look into the allegations about Fellowship of the Martyrs. And uh, she did, she talked to the people making the allegations, asked them some very specific questions, um, and came to the conclusion that there were theological differences but there was nothing resembling the behavior of a cult in what we were doing. That is to say, uh, well, according to her definition of cult behavior, we didn't meet any of those criteria. And she wrote a letter to me stating as much. I read the letter in full on a video and posted it to YouTube. Um, now, uh, the people that were against me or against Fellowship of the Martyrs, as near as I can tell, were completely unaffected by this video. Uh, even though some of them had talked to the person, to this, this lady, um, they just dismissed the whole thing uh, as somebody who's out of town, she doesn't really know, it doesn't really matter, they seem to have not changed their mind in the least or been the least bit affected by this cult expert who um, presented her official opinion and uh, um, gave us a clean bill of health as far as being a cult and what the typical definition of a cult is. Now people tend to throw cult, the word cult around by, and simply mean anybody that disagrees with me. So Billy Graham is a cult, this guy's a cult, Benny Hinn is a cult, whoever's a cult because they're a heretic in some way. And a heretic is simply somebody that doesn't go along with what I believe is orthodox doctrine. Well, that's not really the definition of a cult and that's not really the way that it's being meant or the way that it's being understood by the average person on the street who has uh, pictures of Jim Jones and Kool-Aid and David Koresh and uh, people living in um, you know, uh, sheltered, barbed wire compounds. And yet people like to throw the word around because that's the symbology, that's the baggage they want you to perceive, even if that's not the reality. Well, anyway, about six or eight months later, um, for whatever reason, this cult expert got wrote back into a discussion, saw one of my videos, and had a disagreement with it theologically. And I'm not sure exactly uh, what the process was, but although nothing had changed about the way we were doing anything, nothing had changed about the people that are here or, the, or in, in how they're handled or how we do anything, but because of a theological difference, she decided that we in, in fact were a cult. Now, Hetgau, um, who was here a couple of times, who I prayed with and cried with and who I sincerely love with all my heart, um, latched on to that as he has latched on to a whole bunch of other things um, to portray Fellowship of the Martyrs as a cult. And someone who had some limited experience um, with cults and cult behavior and deprogramming all of a sudden became a world-renowned expert and her views were trumpeted all over as a clear indictment that FOTM is a cult. The problem is, 
when somebody who presents themselves as an expert is double-minded and presents two different opposing findings, you got to wonder how much of an expert they really are. So I didn't, when she, when it was clear that she had changed her mind about her original finding, I deleted the video because that wasn't consistent with what she was still saying anymore. So she didn't ask or request it, but I just took the video down because it's clear that she's not feeling that way. Now, here's the part I need to repent for. Honestly, I should have expected it to go this way. Because any time that you lean on the arm of flesh, that you depend on man to defend you, it's going to go badly. And at a time when I was getting pounded on every side, somebody comes along. And I think, wow, they won't listen to me. Maybe they'll listen to her. Maybe they'll see that what we're doing here is not what they're saying. And so I took her words and put them out there for people to read. Now, it was a public letter. She didn't tell me not to do that. She didn't demand I take it down. Um, she knew that I was going to use it for some purposes to, you know, get it out there. The problem is I look to man to defend me. And that's always wrong. Because God is my defender. So, I'll leave it to you to decide how much veracity to give to Hetgal, who has made lots of allegations that he can't substantiate, blamed me for a lot of things that I didn't do, lumps me in with other people for whom I'm not responsible, has cast his lot in with thieves and liars and murderers. And I can prove it. I'll leave it to you to decide how much discernment there is there and how much you can rely on the expert testimony of an expert who decides that FOTM is not a cult and then over a theological disagreement decides that FOTM is a cult. Now, either she was right the first time or she was right the second time. But it's hypocritical to hold her up now as a world-renowned expert that should be listened to when you completely ignored her when she didn't agree with your position. I'm sincerely sorry for believing even for a moment that man was going to be helpful. <laughs> and I'm sorry that I looked to man to defend me, in this case woman. Still, in some way, in some form, I leaned on the arm of flesh and that's always going to go badly. And our God is a jealous God. And when you look to somebody else, he will show you how completely unreliable and worthless it is to do that. And he did. He did. So don't expect any videos from me on from this or that outside person endorsing and giving me a clean bill of health and whatever. I'll just leave it to the Lord. I'll say what I need to say that the Lord leads me to say and uh, let the Lord sort it out in the hearts of the people. Um, he's done a really, really good job of getting the people here that are supposed to be here. And it's good that when they get here, they already understand that persecution is going to ensue. That their parents, their family, whoever is probably going to get online and see some wacky video and knee jerk and decide that FOTM's this or that and try to get them home or hire a deprogrammer or something. So they know what they're getting into. 
um, before they ever get here. And yet they come because they see something here. They see that God is doing something here and he moves on their heart. And real loud, God says, go to liberty. And they come. And a lot of times, I don't even know they're coming. I didn't beg them to come. I didn't try to recruit them. They're not members of anything. I don't ask for anything. They just come. And we love them and pray with them. And sometimes they're here for a week or a month or a year or whatever. And I trust the Lord will continue to do that. And I pray that the Lord will pour out repentance on the hearts of those who have believed wrong, spoken wrong, or in whatever way the intention of their heart was wrong. If you really love me, and you really think I'm Satan, or I'm possessed, or I'm insane, or I'm whatever, it would be a lot more convincing if you were actually acting like Jesus. And if you were actually acting like Jesus, you might just come out here and try to talk to me or lay hands on me or pray with me. And you might be loving when you do it instead of being a coward. Because you're not going to convince me that you're right and I'm wrong by gossip and slander or by listening to lies. Anyway, I'm really sorry I ever put the video up in the first place. I can see that it didn't really do any good and now it's done some harm. And that should have probably, I probably should have expected that with everything I've been through and everything the Lord's taught me. And um, maybe at the time he was telling me not to and I overrode it. I don't remember. It's been a long time. But I'm sorry. And I'm going to try harder to just let God be my defender and speak what he tells me to speak and let it ride. And he may have me call some people out. I think it's getting to be a season for that. But it's going to be up to him to back me up. Anyway, thanks for listening. I pray the Lord Jesus Christ would lead us all into the fullness of his truth. And for the record again, Jesus Christ is my Lord, and I acknowledge that Jesus Christ came in the flesh. God bless you.